Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Bite a Geek. Glad you can join me again. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the changes that I've made to my uh, Latte Panda um, single board computer uh, that I bought, uh, which was a, a Kickstarter project. You can catch my um, previous video that I did a quick overview of it. Um, so I'm going to just walk you through today some of the changes that I've made. You can see um, what I've done, give you some links to some of the uh, websites that I've used uh, for some of these things. And if you're interested or in getting one of these boards yourself, or so you've already got one of these, you might want to um, you know, get some of these uh, additional items. So uh, without further ado, we'll, um, we'll get to it. Okay, so um, this is what the Latte Panda now looks like. Uh, as you can see, this is um, in a nice uh, sport in a nice blue frame here, um, the uh, with a lovely reflective screen. Um, this was uh, uh, 3D printed. Um, I, I don't actually have a 3D printer myself. I, I um, had somebody um, do that for me, but I will share um, where I got that uh, that done f uh, from uh, with you um, shortly. Um, but this this lovely uh, housing, um, this this frame itself was on uh, Thingiverse, um, and I'll share that uh, details of that as well in the video. Um, but the um, as you can see the the housing, um, it not only does it have the um, the, the screen um, there uh, in the front, um, but it, it um, has a nice um, nice holding there for the um, the motherboard on the back and. Um, the Wi-Fi just uh, just connects onto the back there as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The um, one of the other things, as you can see, that I've done is the obviously the the um, the heat sink. So uh, I did have the heat sinks in, uh, on the um, the back of the motherboard um, originally. They've now gone onto the uh, the front of the motherboard, um, specifically on the um, the the three chips there. Um, what I've actually done on the back of the motherboard, I'm not sure whether you can, you can actually see there, whether turn it around that, that way maybe, a little bit better. Um, but there is now a, um, a low profile uh, fan available for the Latte Panda um, uh, from uh, DF Robot, uh, which are the uh, suppliers or the, the store for the Latte Panda components. Um, this this is obviously covering um, things like this the CPU etc on the back there um, so oops excuse me um, so this makes uh, makes quite a bit of difference um, but what I've had to do is obviously on the on the frame here uh, just to get that clearance for the fan on the back is to um, put on some uh, brass uh, motherboard uh, risers there rather than screwing directly into the back of the um, the back of the screen um, and um, yeah I mean it's uh, I'm really really happy with that obviously it, it is an open uh, an open system um, you know that's that's no uh, great um, problem for me um, but um, the other thing that I, I did as well is the um, the screen so originally on the um, latte panda um, project that I backed um, the uh, the the screen was just the standard uh, screen that that um, was being used um, and um, so I invested in the in the touch screen uh, overlay for the screen so um, this mount actually is uh, in internally it has a like an off-centered uh, mounting for the screen because obviously uh, those who have got the screens already they know that there's um, the tape that goes around the edges of the screen is, is wider on two sides than it is on the other side so this um, by having that offset internally then you get a nice lined up uh, display without any extra thick border displayed for the screen um, which is really really quite good um, and obviously with the with the overlay I mean I think it was something like twelve dollars or something like that um, and that fits in into this this enclosure um, on top of the screen really really nice as you can see um, on the back there the cables just um, just pop through the back of the um, pop through into the back of the the housing there and um, it's uh, 
you know they, they just fit onto the the, uh, the motherboard so it's it works really really well um, at the moment it's just uh, it's just set up with uh, Windows 10 uh, still installed on it it's a uh, kind of like a, a bog standard system at the moment so the uh, the intention for this uh, particular unit um, and I would like to see if I can get hold of um, you know some kind of uh, microphone and and perhaps some kind of camera as well um, make it more into a bit more um, uh, of an interactive uh, system now that I've got the touch screen there um, I, my my initial uh, ideas for this uh, changed early on and now I say it's playing part of some kind of media uh, system and some kind of uh, home um, automation uh, system so um, as, I, as I move on with that that's that's what I'll be doing some other uh, videos um, with on this um, one of the other things that I'd just like to um, mention as well is that obviously you know some people um, you know, I know there's been lots of uh, discussions around um, things like power supplies and people having stable power supplies and things like that. And obviously, when you add more components, you know, you are consuming more power, and you know, you do get fluctuations and things like that. So, one of the things that I've actually found really, really good um, is this particular um, uh, power supply. This is uh, by uh, there you go, um, o Oki. Uh, it's actually a, a quick charger one it's you know obviously it's meant for um, mobile phones so the it, you know it gives a really good uh, steady output so um, I'll, I'll actually put a link to this uh, in uh, the um, description of the video it's available on, on uh, Amazon and um, y you know it's it's just a nice uh, nice quality stable um, uh, power adapter and, and I've had absolutely no problems whatsoever uh, with the latte panda um, running off of this um, so that's that um, one of the other things to, to mention as well is just obviously with regards to the the heat side of things now and um, you know that fan being in place and the heat sinks being on the other side of the motherboard um, in general um, this is you know made quite a significant difference uh, to the overall temperatures now so um, previously, you know, you were running a 1080p video, um, you know, really stressing uh, the system out by doing multiple things, and you know, the system would, um, as is, you know, quite well uh, noted on a few websites, you know, the system would actually start to throttle itself down. Um, you know, I can do all of that now. I can run um, Prime uh, 95, etc., and stuff like that, and and you know, we're, we're still the temperatures are like 50 degrees, something stupid like that. Um, so you know, uh, a lot of that is to do with the heat sink and the and the um, the fan that's there, and also you know the the motherboard's not in that case as well, which even though it did have ventilation in it, uh, probably um, you know didn't help uh, matters um, that that much either. Um, so um, that's that's basically where we're up to with the Latte Panda. Uh, as as I say, the um, the the uh, screen itself um, that was a, a 3D model which was on um, something I noticed on uh, Thingiverse. Um, there's a, there's actually a small handful of um, of this similar kind of uh, screen there. Some of them have got feet. This one's got that that kind of um, y you know um, wedge shape on the bottom there. Um, so um, as you can see here, um, this is the um, the page on on Thingiverse. Um, and this is the particular one. What I did, I downloaded this uh, the the 3D model files and, and loaded it up in an editor, so I could just have a have a look at it. Mainly, um, you know, curiosity really. Um, and uh, you know, from there, it was um, I went on to uh, this particular website, which is um, 3D Hubs. Um, and you know, some of you guys may know about this, some of you may not. But this is effectively people who have got 3D printers that um, rent out um, their printers uh, to do jobs for you. Um, so for for me, this this um, you know, in super fine uh, printing uh, in a color of my choice, uh, delivered in in I think it was about two days. Um, I think I ended up paying something like thirty pounds uh, for that screen. Um, frame itself uh, and it's been absolutely spot on perfect you know it's it's been a superb uh, item um, the the person who did the the 3d printing for me 
uh, you know, great communication. Um, the turnaround was fantastic. The quality is brilliant. It's in, you know, it's in the color that I wanted. Um, and um, yeah, you know, it's uh, th there's, uh, there's there's links to both of these in the uh, in the description. So um, check them out. And if you've got any comments, uh, you know, please leave them below. Um, you know, I'll be carrying on. I'll be doing some more um, videos as as time progresses with this. You know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. But you know, please let me know why you didn't like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see um, you know more more stuff like this. So um, once again, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.